Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Um, I just want to give you guys a little update with my hybrid battery cell replacement and this whole hybrid battery issues and all the codes and the triangle light, the ABS light, the brake light, all the lights that come up with your hybrid with the hybrid battery uh, problem. Now, um, I changed the battery up. I changed the cell, I put everything together, did a video, did a couple of videos on how um, how great it drives and stuff like that, but but I, I'm still having that battery issue. Uh, check hybrid battery. It, it comes up, triangle comes up, the ABS light, the brake light, all those lights come up. And I've been pretty much using my OBD2 to erase those lights. And it drives fine outside of that. Uh, it, it came up like two days after, you know, I put everything back together and I was hoping that everything worked out. Everything was, you know, I was hoping everything just worked out fine and, and, and the problem was fixed. But it wasn't. So it's been, <clears throat> it's been a good three weeks since I did that. And... It comes up like when the weather's warm when the weather was warm like last week when it was unseasonably warm like in the 70s <clears throat> I noticed that it popped up immediately it popped up all the time this whole uh, what is it replace hybrid battery or, or check hybrid battery system um, anyway on cold days it doesn't come up as much and, and what I did was I bought the bus bars. I purchased the bus bars and I thought maybe I'll, re I'll replace that. Maybe the bus bars were kind of dirty. It was bad connections. It's not, it's not getting <clears throat> a connection, the connection it needs. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy an OEM fan because when I replaced the fan and over the summer, I bought, um, I bought a non OEM fan for hundred and fifty dollars, and I thought, well, I you know I, I had issues with a non OEM water pump that I have purchased and and and, and put in, and uh, all the all those issues went away when I put in when I bought the original OEM water pump. All those issues, I haven't had those issues once. So I was thinking, maybe there's a chip inside the fan. It was just a regular fan. I was, I was thinking it was a regular fan, but it's got four wires. So I was like, okay. <clears throat> now, granted, this whole situation is frustrating. I don't like going through this situation. I don't like having to randomly use my OBD2 to delete all the codes. Like... Yeah, it's been the the, the 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 issue comes up like later in the day, when I've been driving a long period of time. So, so after replacing the fan yesterday, after replacing the all the bus bars, and it drove fine for like most of the day, but it's been a cold day. So you guys can see it's, it's like it was a cold day yesterday. So you guys can see it's like thirty seven degrees today, but it was around it was a little bit warmer yesterday, around like thirty nine degrees, forty degrees, and I was I was kind of happy. You know, you guys see my tools right here. I was kind of happy. It doesn't. It doesn't really take that many tools to 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 work on the battery. And when that came up last night, I, I you know I, I got out and I drove like from like I, I think I finished doing all of that at one o'clock and then I drove for a, lo a long. Uh, I, I drove for um, a good. Took it for a good good drive. Like here and there stops here and there doing whatever and it pops up and I think it goes through the drive cycle and then when it when it reaches that last monitor which is probably the battery it pops up <clears throat> and yeah that was that was very disappointing to me and I, I even went on um, I even went on Facebook to you know I said to myself maybe maybe I spent like six seven hundred dollars on a battery 
Which is, I think, that, which is the lowest. You could probably bargain somebody for six, seven hundred dollars on Craigslist for a new battery. And, and I was thinking to myself, okay, here's what I did. As far as the battery is concerned, um, now I, I didn't put everything back together. <clears throat> All right, I, I pretty much had to put some stuff in storage and then put and the, the paneling and stuff like that after I finished up I pretty much put in the back so no, nothing is like it's not like 100% put together but I was thinking to myself this has got to be like a temperature issue right because you know the casing the metal casing <coughs> excuse me the metal casing I didn't um, I didn't put all the all the screws in I didn't think I needed to, to be honest with you. I just put it enough in so that it, it would when it wouldn't clang around. You know, as far as the uh, the the fan is concerned, the where the fan connects to the to the battery and where it connects to the vent, the insulation has deteriorated. So I, I was thinking, I was thinking. I, I, was, I was thinking going out and getting like a $650 battery because I, I actually conversed with somebody on, on Facebook last night about picking up the battery. So, this is going to be my last shot. Now, it's not an uncommon thing because I've, I've gone on, on uh, I've gone on Google, I did a search on, on these issues. After replacing the cell, the, uh, the check hybrid lights and all the lights come up. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's not. It's not a rare occurrence. And I was thinking to myself, like the last couple of days, I was thinking to myself, well, it it happens. It happens quite a bit when the car is warmed up. Now, not all the time, but it will. It was unseasonably warm the last um, I would say the last uh, you know a week or two ago so there was one time where it popped up in the morning like about 10 minutes after I started the car but the rest of the time it was like it popped up the lights and the, and the check hybrid battery popped up popped up Where's my train of thought? It, it, it popped up at the end of the at the end of the day after after long driving, after a long while of driving, after the, the the car has been used, um, or it pops up after a long drive. And I was thinking, all right, I'm gonna take one more shot at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the bolts, all the nuts and the bolts, because I I think the encasing, the metal encasing of the battery I think the metal encasing of the battery needs to be like it, it, it needs to it, it needs to have it needs to be what's the word it needs to be stabilized where the edges are closed off now it's a metal it's a metal casing you know it's it's not supposed to be insulated but I think the 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 the, the fan when when it pushes air through you know, if, if any of the air actually goes outside, like if there's leaks, like I didn't I didn't put the orange little clips, I didn't put those in, uh, I didn't put those in. So it, it's not it's not a hundred percent. It was it's not it wasn't a hundred percent enclosed to begin with, but it's supposed to be it's supposed to be enclosed enough where the air actually runs through actually runs through most of the battery before it gets to the other vent instead of in, instead of just getting pushed out here there a hole here there a hole hit there go getting pushed through um uh, any kind of crevice i mean the crevices are not insulated but but it, it's supposed to get pushed through um in, in, instead of escaping somewhere else because I think there's less airflow obviously there's less airflow if it's going out other areas uh, of the of the encasement so that's my one shot this is my last shot at this because I don't want to I don't want to spend 
I don't want to spend any more time on this as, as far as, as as far as this is concerned. Uh, I've uh, spent quite a bit of time on it. I really do not want to spend more time on it. And if I have to buy, if I have to buy another battery, I'll tell you what. I mean, I'm even going to put tape. I'm even going to put tape around around where the fan connects to the encasement, metal encasement. I'm going to put tape around uh, the you know the edges of the encasement itself where where the one small encasement where the fuse box is connected to the other the, the rest of the battery i'm gonna put tape around that just so the air would would, would circulate a hundred percent through it and out of it uh and i'm gonna put all the bolts and nuts uh where they go uh just so it 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 it, it has enough of a closure where where the the air actually circulates through instead of it comes out uh, uh, on, on on some of the crevices and edges of the vent, <laughs> and we'll see how that works. Um, I I will mention one more thing that I did not uh, on the underside on the underside of the battery cells. There's those those little screw holes where you're supposed to screw a, a bolt through it. Half of the battery cell. I was able to get the screws in. The other half, the other half, um, you know, after a certain point of where the cells aligned with each other, it got too bulky, and 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 there wasn't it wasn't sitting exactly uh, on on the holes. So it was very difficult for me to get the screws in. So for me, I just assume that those are just screw holes, and that's just there to stabilize the battery cells. It didn't make a difference. Now, it didn't make a difference to me whether they were stabilized through because they were they, they were stabilized through the through the um, the, the supports at the ends. Um, as long as those screws aren't any kind of ground screws, I don't think they are ground screws. I think they're just to stabilize the cells to um, to to that to to the base. Um, I, I was I was thinking about looking up the 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 you know somebody just taking the cells cutting the cells open and seeing whether there's any kind of wire going through it. I don't think I don't think I don't think those are I I don't think those are ground uh, those are meant to be grounded elect electrically to the battery to the I I don't know. I don't think so. I would be surprised if it if, if they were, but I, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it. I mean, I haven't looked into it. I hope they're not because I don't want to take the battery out again and, and having to screw everything back together and put it in and that's just too much work. I mean, I guess if I if if, if I had to, I would. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm sure there's a video of, out there where. Somebody cuts up the battery and, and shows the inside of the battery. I don't. I think those are just stabilizing screws to stabilize the cells to um, to to the battery. Um. Anyway. <clears throat> um. Anyway, that's um, that's my video. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 put out another video probably next week telling you guys how how uh this. Uh, this works out for this works out and uh, hopefully it works out the way I think it's going to work out because um, every instance let me see <clears throat> uh, for, for the most part for the most part the car works fine now my my MPG since I had the whole install is thirty five point nine. Not very good MPG, but it's not it's not like it's been operating at optimal because, you know, when uh, when when a check hybrid battery light comes up, the 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 engine one it just wouldn't shut off. It would just keep on running and running and running and running and running and running. And running. And uh, I would have to do the steps to actually uh, reset reset the computer so that it wouldn't just keep on running and running. And I think that eats up some some gas. 
But anyway, uh, if you guys have your own personal opinions on this, definitely leave a leave a comment a comment section. Um, you know, subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that stuff. All right, guys.